For mathematicians, let's talk about finding the area of a parallelogram. So looking at these two figures, what does the parallelogram, the one on the left, have in common with the rectangle? Hmm. Well, we are actually going to try and make our parallelogram into a rectangle. How do we do that? Well, a parallelogram is like a rectangle, except we just rearrange it. We start with a parallelogram over here. Then we chop off a corner. We want to go straight down until we make a little triangle piece right here. Cut it off and move it to the other side because if you look there's an empty space over here that looks a lot like this same triangle. So when you've rearranged it, it now looks like a rectangle which we already know how to find the area for. We do the base measurement times the height measurement. Now this is an important distinction because we have these beautiful right angles right here. Your base and your height have to form a right angle which is also called a perpendicular angle. You cannot use this side measurement as your height. Think about it this way. When you go to the doctor to get measured for how tall you are, you don't stand slanted to the side, leaning over. You stand up straight and tall. So you always want your height measurement to be the one that's standing up straight and tall. Another way to think about it is if this is your base, but you flipped it upside down, this would be your base. These two parallel lines form your two bases, which should be the same length. So your height should go from one base to another with right angles. So that's how you can remember where to find your height. Now, when we look at problems, we will often see a side measurement right here. That is either there to just confuse you or there to help you find the perimeter if we ask for it. But most of the time, you'll be ignoring that number. Every single problem, you have to start out by writing your area formula. Area equals base times height. Oops. Base times height. I don't know the area, so I'm going to write A again. Oops. I do know my base. That's 5. I'm going to add in a time symbol. My height forms that right angle. Notice this dotted line. It just means that's not a side. I'm just taking that line for a measurement. It's 1. And 5 times 1 makes 5. If you just circle 5, you have it wrong because you need your units. This is 5 feet, 1 foot, so your units are feet. But since you did 1 times 5, you also did feet times feet, and that's 2 of them. So that's 5 feet to the power of 2 or 5 square feet as your final answer. And that's how you find the area of a parallelogram.